thought you were coming in like July or like August. Oh, you wanna do the tour like right now? Okay, just one second. Okay, I guess it's okay if you come in and do the tour. So come in, come in, come in, come in. You know, I really wish you would have called first before we did this tour so I could have, you know, got the place ready. Um, it's so dirty today, but um, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't even worry about it. Be sure to take off your shoes in the closet and um, probably leave your face mask on because COVID and I don't know where you've been. Um, so where should we start? Oh, the kitchen? Okay, we can start in the kitchen. Okay, come on. Okay, so now we're in the kitchen and this is my favorite room of the house. It is beautiful. There are custom made cabinets that my friend Chester made up the street and he gave me a great deal. So no other apartment in the complex has these cabinets. Um, this was made from Marvel from Greece, I think they said. Oh, all custom made, all by Chester. He is a wonderful man. I will link his number down below and you can talk to him about getting custom made appliances because they are amazing. Um, I just started supper, so you know, you can stay if you want, but you know, this is, you know, so last minute. Um, and yeah. This is the kitchen. It has tons of cabinet space. Here are all my doomsday supplies in case you know the apocalypse happens, you got to be ready. And then here are some more cleaning supplies and dog supplies because the apocalypse is coming. Here we have snacks and this is my snack closet. I have tons of different snacks for when I'm working from home because you know, those days get real gloomy and sometimes you just need some M&Ms. And um, all of the appliances here are made by Wonder World or something. They are, you have to special order them, but if you use my discount code TJ99 on the website, you'll get half off. So I'll be sure to link that down below as well. Okay, I think let's move over to the dining room, okay? I actually wanted to show you the rest of the cabinets here. These are all custom made. And so what we have over here are glasses. We have plates and things over here. And we just have more food things. And so I wanted to show you that real quick before we go over to the dining room. Okay, now we'll go, come on. Okay, so this is my little dining area. This is my favorite room of the house. We have these lovely placemats. We have an iPad that, you know, Jenny's daughter from across the way, she bought me that as a gift and it was just so sweet of her. I use it almost every day because, you know, I don't like to watch TV while I'm eating supper, but, you know, I will play some Candy Crush while I'm, while I'm eating. And um, that's pretty much it over here. We have this lovely vase. These are real flowers that I got uh, at, the, at the Trader Joe's this weekend. And they came out really nice. So uh, let's move over to the laundry so that you can see how that looks too. All right, come on, come, come, come. Okay, so as you can see here, this here is my little laundry room. Kind of some storage up here. This here is my favorite part of the apartment. I mean, these appliances from Wonder World, I mean, they are just impeccable. They last forever. So we have a washer dryer set up. We also have the ironing board for when I need to iron my shirts in the morning. And then we also have just laundry cleaning, paper plates and stuff like that. All regular laundry things. You see, I got my mask hanging because I learned the hard way that you do not dry masks. You let them air dry. So we're letting that situation go on about its business. Okay, so why are we moving to the living room, okay? Okay, now that we've made it into the living room, I wanted to direct your attention to this TV. Now, this TV is made by Wonder World and it is a state-of-the-art TV because not only does it play Netflix, it also has a built-in fireplace. Now, you look at that and you tell me that that is not worth your money. It is wonderful. And if you just put in my code T99 or TJ99, you can get this TV, this here TV too. It's at a low price. It's gonna be a little pricey. It's probably, I don't even know how much it costs because you know, Chester down at the stove gave me a deal, but uh, 
This here is a good TV, a good heater for your apartment, keep your bills low. It's wonderful. We also have Franklin here. I don't know if you can see Franklin, but Franklin is my plant. And uh, I got this from my friend Maria uh, down the street at the school. And uh, she's a wonderful young lady. I, I really likes her. Uh, she gave me Franklin, I think a year ago. He's doing okay, he's not dead. And you know, he's got some little buds coming in. Can you see him? He's growing just fine here over here in my house. So um, we'll see, it looks like he's got a little bud coming out, but we leave Franklin alone because as soon as you touch him, he starts to die. You know how plants are. Okay, I'm going to direct your attention this way. We're going to move, we're going to rotate, we're going to pivot, like they say in that funny show, uh, Friends. We're going to pivot just a little bit. Oh, can you see me? I wanted to direct your attention to this here couch. Uh, I got it here from Costco and it has been wonderful. You know, I love me some Costco. It is one of the greatest gifts God gave us. Costco got this here couch and it's been holding up a few years. They also got this dog from Costco. Can you believe that? I mean, they sell everything there. These pillows were hand woven by a little girl named Julie down the street. And um, you know, I think they just look good with the decor. She also hand knitted this, uh, this here blanket for the dog, uh, even though he's a boy. She hand knitted this. It took her 15 hours to make this here. And then she put them in the gas station. I was like, you know what, Jessica? I, I will buy one off you. I don't even need to go to the grass or go to the gas station because I will purchase one myself. And she spent her 15 hours knitted me this lovely little throw blanket for the couch that I got from Costco, and it just pulls the whole room together. I really think so. And uh, yeah, this here's the dog I got from Costco. He uh, he's pretty cute. Uh, he he does his own thing. We don't really bother with him, but uh, yeah. All right, let's move on to the desk area so that you can see where I get all my work done. Okay, now this is where the magic really happens. I swear to you, this is my favorite room of the house. This is where all of my schoolwork and my work work and everything in between gets done. This desk I got from the Amazon and it's called the Wonderplex 5300. I'll leave a link down below, don't even worry about it. It comes in black, pink and blue. I got the black because it matches my my decor, but I think you'd like the pink one, I, I really do. These are my computers. I have three computers and a desktop. I don't know why I have so many computers, but people just keep giving them to me and I keep using them. So here's my computer, my external monitor I got from the Amazon too. The same time I got the disc, coincidentally, and this is called a Spectre or a Spectrum. I'm not really sure how to pronounce this word, but it's on the Amazon and I'll link it down below. This chair. Now, this might be my favorite part of the house. This chair, the most comfortable chair you'll ever sit in. I tell you, sometimes I just come over and just sit for hours and do nothing because it's so comfortable. I got this here throw from the gas station where Julie or Jessica was sell selling her little things. I got that there too from the gas station. You know, gas stations have great quality stuff. I mean, I feel like, I really think we'd be sleeping on their quality. So if you're looking for a good throw blanket, head to your gas station. I tell you, those are the next ones, the nicest ones. Okay, now um, we're gonna go ahead into the bedroom and uh, we're almost done with this here tour. We're just having a great old time. You know, supper's almost ready, but we can finish this up right before supper. Okay, come on. Okay, so now we're in the bedroom. Um, this, this room might be my favorite part of the house. I tell you why. Now, we got this, and my mama told me that this keeps all the bad juju away, so we plug it in and keep all the bad drums out. I think it's a Himalayan salt lamp. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. I, do, I have no idea. This bed, I got the mattress from Costco. It is wonderful. I, I, it might be the favorite part, my favorite part of this whole house, I tell you. It is so comfortable, I just lay down and sleep. There's no in between, I get in the bed, sleep. So that's why I normally keep this door closed because you can't be sleeping all day now, can you? Um, yeah, so basically that's it in here. I don't really do much else in here. Um, sometimes I read me a good book. Right now, 
I'm reading uh, The Game of Thrones. Now, I watched the show on the HBO. I thought it was very pleasant. So, I got me the books. Well, my brother got me the books. And um, the books are very pleasant, too. I, I highly recommend it. You should absolutely read it, watch it, listen to all the podcasts, watch the videos on the YouTube, too. I think you'd enjoy it. Okay, let's move on to the last room of the house, okay? Let me just put that up and let's, let's mosey on that way. Okay, now we have made it to the bathroom. This might be my favorite part of this apartment, and I tell you why. We have this lovely, lovely shower curtain. It makes an excellent backdrop for your pictures, honey. I bought this off the Amazon, and it has really, really saved my life. You know, the theme of this year is toilet paper, because you know what? In March, y'all acted crazy, I feel like, in December. Probably around the new year, y'all gonna act crazy again, so. Make sure you buy your toilet tissue. Make sure you have enough to last you through the winter. Now, this here is my robe. It does not match the colors in here, but it was a cheap robe from Costco. And I tell you this, I only paid nine bucks for that. Nine dollars for a nice robe, robe like that. I just, I think it's lovely. Anyways, this is the bathroom. I do all of my best thinking in here. I would say that as soon as I get in the bathroom, my brain juices just start flowing and I'm like, oh, the ideas. And then as soon as I leave, the ideas are gone. But let me tell you, there be some good ideas happening in here. Lastly, we're gonna go into this here closet. Now, I will warn you, this might be my favorite room of the house. Okay, as you can see, this here is my closet. This, by far, is my favorite room in the house and I'll tell you what look at all the storage look at how many clothes can be hang, hung up in here I mean I've got room galore there's there's a whole row down there that I'm not even using there's a whole row over here that you can't see because of the doorway but there's a lot of space in here so here are my clothes these are my dresses when you know I get to leave the house you know I've got to look presentable I got shoes and things up there my linen. Now, some people don't put their linen in the closet, but I got enough space, I did. I got the scarves because, you know, it'd be, it'd be kind of cold here in St. Louis sometimes. And then I got shirts. And then on the side that you can't see, I have skirts. But I also have some sweaters. Now, let me tell you, a good sweater is hard to come by, but you know who has good sweaters? Costco. So, you know, if you're looking for some sweaters, head over to Costco, I tell you. Tell them I send you because I spend a lot of money there in that Costco. Okay, well, I think that's about it. The last thing in the closet that I really wanted to show you was these hats. Now, I don't know why I bought these hats, but I bought two, one in each color. I don't wear hats, but you know, every woman's closet should have a good hat, so take that for what you will. All right, well, let's head back in the kitchen and we can wrap up for supper. All right, come on. Well, uh, there you have it. This is my nice little abode. I am so glad you stopped by to come see the place. I really wish you would have called first so I could have straightened up a little more, but uh, I think it came together really nicely. You know, this condo, I tell you, is really nice. Oh, I forgot to tell you the bonus. There's a little patio out back and it's got the little twinkle lights and um, I'll insert a picture here. We don't have to go because it's, it's dark outside because it gets dark at four o'clock. So I'll just insert a picture here. Don't even worry about it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Oh, baby, make sure your mask is over your nose before you leave here. I didn't want to say anything and embarrass you in front of the company, but uh, you should probably do that everywhere because wearing a mask properly is uh, as important as the social distancing. All right now, well, I'll be seeing you. Be sure to call next time before you come so I can be ready, all right? Well, ta-ta. Be sure to grab your shoes on the way out. Hi friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was just a fun version of my apartment tour furnished. You guys saw the unfurnished, unfurnished version back in like July, August, and I just never got around to filming it, and so I wanted to dress up, and so here we are. I have no idea where that accent came from or whose story I was living. There's no Chester. There's, those appliance names were fake, and I don't know Julie, Jessica, and the other girl. Um, they're probably not selling things at the gas station, but Costco is a good deal. 
and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks so much for watching this apartment tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to be safe, be sure to leave any type of emoji if you've watched this far be sure to follow me over on my social media like comment and subscribe all of that good youtube stuff and i will see you guys next week peace out and i love you all so much bye